Hello guys and welcome back for another episode. I say welcome back, you may not have actually been anywhere, but welcome all the same. Okay, so we're continuing the war we're in with the Ottomans and the Mamluks. We are just chasing down any remaining armies and really just trying to stem any incoming troops like the single regiments here and just playing damage control really. We're trying to get control of these provinces and hopefully gain them within a peace deal. Uh, otherwise, yeah, continuing the march east. Um, we have a colony in Jasangdu here. Really looking forward to finishing this because it will open up this virgin territory and allow us to head over to the Pacific. Um, most of my money will be being saved for uh, any regiments I need to build. I believe I should have enough at the moment, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's get started. Let's get back to it. Uh, no peace. Go away. We have 2,000 troops coming to meet our 24,000. So unsurprisingly, they seem to be winning. And... Ah yes, Rebels. I'm going to try something that makes me quite nervous, but it's got to be done. Uh, I'm going to be using the Hunt Rebel feature. The reason I've been quite reluctant to do this in the past is because there's been so many times where you'll have armies spread around your empire, and if there's more Rebel armies in an area than there are friendly armies, the AI will bring someone over from a long way away. While they're marching over to deal with the band of rebels, everyone around here that's friendly will ignore them, and so this army here will spend about 10 years marching eastwards. And yeah, in the meantime, this area is undefended, these rebels aren't being fought because everyone else around here thinks they're being taken care of. And if you don't keep on top of things, it can quickly spiral out of control. So I'll hope they take care of it, but for now, they're on their own. Anyway, there's some combat in force. I should probably help reinforce. Uh, yeah, there's random troops that are still coming, by the way. <laughs> you should probably pick a better muster points, hot um, But in the meantime, we'll just keep killing your dudes. Uh, right, they have to curve, so let's pursue. I have a group here, which I should... I think I'll use them to, first of all, take care of this rebellion, and then head up and take, at least get control of these provinces. Two regiments have been completed here, thankfully. Uh, yeah, more random battles. Ah, they seem to have changed direction. That was very sensible. Mali would like lots of money from us. Mali could forget that. A little underpowered here. Uh, in terms of manpower, but that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, yeah, more fighting in Sibas. A new cannon, that's nice. Okay, let's head north. I think I will upgrade the cannon right now. It does reset your morale to zero, but we don't have any cannons, so <laughs> it's not going to hurt us. I think also I've got three colonists here, so I'm going to just start off some colonies in each of the Shagatai areas here. And just leave them to grow by themselves. Hopefully these two armies will be enough to deal with any rebels that spawn there. Like I say, I'll keep an eye on it, but not as much as I have been doing. Frankly, it's just getting quite annoying having to deal with fights every now and uh, notifications every ten seconds, like I am right now. Uh, oh, declining quality. Lose prestige or gain quality. Hmm. Frankly, if you're playing Russia and not drowning your enemies with oceans of men, you're doing it wrong. But lo 
choosing ten prestige. It's quite a high price to pay. But then I will get it back fairly soon. Yeah, I do want to head further along the path to quantity, so I'll just ignore it. Uh, yeah, these guys are successful and they're fleeing back through rack. Not sure where these triply dudes are heading, but we'll soon see, I'm sure. I'll start picking up more territory from the Ottomans if I can. And we finished Kizilkum. That's fantastic. So, just checking here. An army should start to head down to deal with these rebels. So, why aren't you moving? You don't see it as our territory, do you? Okay. Well, that could be a problem, I suppose. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Are there any other rebels I'm missing here? No, no, that's been taken here automatically. Okay, good. Quality wall. 25 the cats. Hurrah. Yeah, we've wiped out the army in Iraq. Kazakh have accepted peace with Tibet. That's nice. Not wipe them out if you don't forget. The Ottoman army is still on the march. Triply guy has stopped now, so I shall be able to come and deal with him once I have taken cast them off. Yep, not surprising. Okay, and they're going back, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll try not to worry about that too much. Okay, an extra level you can put in the tech. Yaroslav, that's up here, that's not good. Oh, oh, and it's a big one. 16,000 dudes. Uh, right, I'm going to need to reinforce you on time. Let's match you. Almost. Byzantium has accepted peace, okay. Ah, you have finally arrived. You probably arrived a while ago, but I just didn't take note. And we seem to have wiped out the army we were chasing. Excellent. talking about here. When you have so many rebel armies and not enough of your own armies, you're going to get situations where they're bringing armies, the AI is bringing armies in from many, many miles away just to deal with them. And that's not what you want. Okay, so I'm just going to bring you down here. Uh, you're taking care of that already. These guys will be taken care of. I suppose it's a bit annoying, but I have to wait for this army to finish and then I can just march them eastwards, mopping up rebels as they go. Yeah, see, I don't want this army heading over to Bakara. <laughs> Still, can't complain. Uh, you can go home, wherever home is. See, where the hell are you going? <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so I just lost the leader. And, uh, okay, the colonist is still on the way to just like. Right, let's pursue you to Laris then. I'm actually quite happy for these rebels to take control of Hormuz. Um, because we can repeat the incident we had here. Persia should form from that rebellion and we can annex them. And it's, it's, we have gained control of... Well, we've wiped out this army, I'm, I think. Mean. Okay, you get up to Fars and that will cover all the territory. We'll take this place and then you can head up to the Kara to take care of this rebellion. You can deal with this army that's gathering on our border. And you guys can hurry up and train. There's some lovely... There's no rebellions these guys can take care of. The main concern I have was any rebellions destroying any colonies that are growing. But that seems to be... we seem to be okay for that particular problem. English fail. <laughs> Boundary dispute. Where is this for? Polesia. That's uh, Lithuania, isn't it? Soon to be Bavaria. I'm actually fine with that. I don't want to antagonise anyone in the Western world. Uh, and as I was saying before I was interrupted, right now my objective is to head south. Afterwards the emphasis will be on heading eastwards and only then will I turn westwards and try and break up Austria and see if I can't tidy up my border somewhat. Naturally that will all change if anyone declares war on me and by god I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, we're still shown as having 100% war capacity, so hopefully the AI won't be sniffing weakness and pouncing upon me. Okay, we're getting some dudes ready. Not really enough as yet. Just like dudes arrive and they're successful. Hurrah. Colony in Magulistan. Ah, yes, check a time. Yeah, we lost Yaroslav, that's fine. I believe those rebels want us to. Well, they're popping up because we are beyond the kind of allowed boundary here. I suspect. Can't really see what they want, though. I wasn't planning to negotiate, just <laughs> curious to see whether, what they wanted, why they were suddenly popping up to ruin everything. No peace, no peace, go away. Okay, time to place a missionary. so many rebellions and not of this size either so it's kind of a fail by my part. Anyway, I'll just give you a leader and off you go. I'll deal with that when the time. 
that comes. Keep a uh, where's stats. Okay, fine, you'll be taken care of. Do I have enough troops on the border? Yes, I do. You can head up. so many armies. <laughs> right, okay, there's one army here, that should be fine, and they can just head on over to deal with those two. You can stay here, that's what that means. Okay, Blukistan Nationalists, that's good, 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 nice to see the Timurids collapsing even further. I think I'm going to leave you right here. you guys back. Ah, oh, we've all got kind of a successful conversion. That's good. Just sag to right. It was kind of the problem I was discussing earlier. Um, because that army spent so long marching westwards, they're not here to deal with the rebels I want them fighting. Yeah, I know you all want peace. Take a hint. It's not happening. Hmm. I think this would be a nice opportunity to start besieging some territory of the Mamluks. One thing to be concerned of though is I declared war on the Ottomans, which means I'm the only war has a I is valid. So if I take territory from them, it's only one infamy per province. Because the Mamluks joined as uh, allies, I don't have any Oh shit. For fuck's sake. That's <laughs> this is what I was talking about. <laughs> Why does this happen? <sighs> so that entire colony has just been razed to the ground because these hunts, rebel hunters are retarded. have a large army heading to Castamon. I'll follow them to see if I can wipe them out, but I need to come back and take out this Bulgarian army, which seems to be being quite effective. Should probably be assaulting these forts so I can should be able to get away with it. Not that one however. <laughs> okay, that's one. Everyone heads to Kerman. Oh, I'm so angry. <laughs> so very angry. Right, where the hell are you going? This, guys, is why I don't like to use hunt rules. I just don't pay enough attention and everything turns to shit. Sorry about the swearing, but I, again, I think it's just a fight. Okay, I'm failing. 
dealing, dealing with these rebellions. Um, I'll, I'll assume I'm heading back. That looks promising. Yeah, we've got that, that large army. So we can come by Sinope and deal with that revolt and take out this figure. As long as you have territory held by rebels, you're at risk of random events, rebels spawning. That's why I'm always so terrified of war exhaustion, and why I play conservatively, because rebels can really screw up a game. Okay, there's plenty to go with these guys. Okay, are the Ottomans willing to concede the territories I currently own? They would not accept this offer. Wait, they... They've only got 8% war score. Huh, that's surprising. Anyway, I'll group these guys up for a while and just take care of that rebellion. Looks like I'll have to smack him around a bit more. We have a large army heading into our territory here. 17,000 troops. Can we catch them? Yes, we can. Okay, how are our rebel hunting efforts going? Looking good so far. Tomorrow, we've wiped someone out in Ursurum, so that's good. Bye bye, Bulgaria. Take back Ursurum, please. And you guys can focus on getting back our territory. Okay, I'm not pursuing these guys because, like I say, I want them to form Persia. Instead, I'm gonna see about taking on the Mamluks. Yep, good, that's from the house again. You can focus on these armies. White piece, are you insane? <laughs> uh, they're willing to talk peace now. Uh, they won't give us Sivas. I'd like some money from them, they seem to have quite a bit in reserve, so, you know, I'll kick them around a bit more. That should help swing things in my favour. Uh, wait, no, you guys can come and deal with Ottoman and the Bulgarian troops. You can take it the rebellion and then head up to the van. Yeah, the, the oh, see, this happens whenever rebels own provinces. We get six random troops at rebel spawn. I say the real challenge here isn't winning the fights. We have a pretty significant technological difference between ourselves and the Muslim territories here. The real challenge is just managing everything, keeping on top of the massive amounts of armies that are really at any one time. Okay, we've got Bulgar back. Um, I have not noticed that the Timurids were starting to besiege Magulistan, so I better get someone down there so we've lost the Iraq to the Mamluks. That's fine. We're engaging the large army here. Just like those hours once again, so we'll go back to square one and start colonizing it. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Can 
cannot believe I lost that. I'm so angry still. Yeah. And oh, 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 oh. We could be having a similar situation. I can't afford to get you. It would take longer to deal with those rebels than it would to go around. <laughs> Arg. Okay, nice event for once. We lost them. Why do we lose sieges so damn quickly? exhaustion that's causing all these revolts, undoubtedly. I'll just fight this battle, see if it swings the war score any further in my favour. And then I need to think about pulling everyone back and... I don't think I had a colony there, but I could be wrong. Uh, think about putting everyone back and just waiting for our attrition to fall. Don't lose Samarkand. For God's sake. Okay, that's one army taken care of. You know what, I'm not going to miss you. Let's see if we can get them right now. Fifty of the cats and a bunch of territory. That sounds wonderful. What's the siege of Van? Huh. Okay. Well, these guys are heading back. They can go to Armenia first of all. Well, sorry, they can go to wherever this army is heading, which is Imereti. So right now we have a very large, oh god, 100% already. Just hold out one more month, guys, please. Um, yeah, Baluchistan and Kerman need to be dealt with, and Herat. That's also concerning. We shall head up. Ah, good. We scared them off. <laughs> the colony is saved. <laughs> Ivan embarrasses the court. So a stability loss. You know what? I think I'm just gonna take a piece with the Mamluks here. Um, taking territory from them will be giving me four infamy for each province, and that's pretty expensive infamy-wise. I am slowly racking it up, and right now I need to focus on managing these rebellions and getting my war exhaustion down. So. Yeah, I'll see if I can get them to do something. <laughs> There's not really much I can do. I suppose they could release some nations, that would be quite handy for me. If I get as many independent provinces around here as possible, they'll make nice, easy targets. Do that, 
that seems sensible. There's some nice, easily conquerable nations here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Why not? Yeah, so all these castles are spellized against these three nations here. Uh, I believe... Yeah, the computer sees us as being at peace, which should really speed up um, getting our war exhaustion down. This will allow me to focus on the Timurids once again, uh, and not lose these colonies. And yeah, we've got bunch of nationalists spawning here. Um, yeah, I'll be able to focus on getting our colonies and not losing them through sheer stupidity. Okay, I'll call the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, join me next time when we yeah, get our war exhaustion down, I suppose. Bye-bye.